Joining me on Can Do FM today, we have Derek Brook, who is a uh, borough councillor. Um, welcome to Can Do FM, Derek. Hello, hello. Now you've come on to uh, tell us about the town's uh, the town's deal bid, um, with specific reference to the the cycling and pedestrian routeways, haven't you? Yes, this is one of the priorities that's being put forward and we have to get more detail in by the end of July. So really I've come on to encourage people to respond to the survey monkey that we've got out there on our Facebook page and tell us what would encourage them to cycle more and, and make it easier for pedestrians and cyclists. So yes. Which is pro- which is good news actually, because I mean, you know, we've got a lot of cyclists in the area. Cycling is, is very, very popular in this area because we've got a fair bit of money um, coming our way, hopefully. And it's an, it's an opportunity, perhaps a once in a generation opportunity to get these cycle routes nailed. Uh, so, you know, we want to know, you know, we, the council, we need to we know. Do what, yeah. What, yeah. What we have an opportunity. Want. Yeah, we have an opportunity to get several million pounds towards this bit of the of the town's deal. It's twenty five million overall, but that includes the university campus and resilience hubs and the other stuff. So towards the pedestrian and cycling bit, we have a chance to get maybe four or five million. Um we're not gonna end there. You know, we we I think as a council we do want to continue and I think partners do as well. You've got, you know, climate change and people's health. Mm. So, you know, we're not just plucking at money for, for no good reason. It is a longer term plan, but in the short term, we have to get a detailed plan in for the end of July on how we would hope to spend some money on this. Mm-hmm. And the more community feedback we get, the better. We've had quite a bit so far. Um, and certainly one of the themes coming out is people getting to work. Yeah. Um, if you go down Abbey Road, bit, there's bits of cycle lane, then it stops. I mean, I'm a cyclist. I live just off Abbey Road. Going into town's fine for a bit, and then it stops, and then it starts, and then it stops, and you've got Tesco roundabout. And it's things like that. And um, the three kind of big areas into town, the A590 and Rouge Road, that those three ways into to shopping and to work, they're kind of big things. And And each of them have got their sort of little – you know, their problems, haven't you? Yeah, they're all different. And on and off over the years, there's been stop-start cycle lanes um, not joined up quite often. Um, you know, you get to roads and you have to stop. It, there's all sorts of difficulties as a cyclist. Um, so, it, you know, we're trying to clarify with people what they want. Do we want a separate cycle lane on pavement? Do we want cyclists and pedestrians to share or do we want them separate and we you know we're asking for the community's feedback and, and it is a genuine ask for the community's feedback and um, a lot of people might have been to other places i know on the continent in some areas they've been doing things for years differently to what we do and um, you know you go to other towns and people may have, have tried things that worked or didn't work and um, so, you know, we're, we're really open to the public telling us what they think would be a good idea and really what would encourage them to do more cycling and, and more walking. So there is obviously the main thing is getting to work and going shopping, but there's the, you know, the leisure side as well. You know, we've got some lovely cycle lens. Um, maybe we could do some more quite easily. Do people yeah. want them or what's the priority for people? And mm-hmm. that's the kind of thing that we want to know because however many million pounds we get, it won't change everything. Thing. so we have to prioritize but it would be good to get people's views and then we can have a longer term plan that you know we, we're looking at climate change we're looking at reducing carbon we don't want people going around on their own in cars if we can help it yeah um, yeah parking is health, always an issue whole, yeah and there's a the whole health issue as well so we want people's views what would it, what would encourage them i mean some people will be doing more walking and cycling with with the lockdown obviously yeah. Um, what I mean, that's one of the nice things. On. One of the positive things for me about lockdown was the reduced traffic on the roads. I mean, it was a real yes. sort of eye opener. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. You know that how much traffic is on our roads. I mean, we're not too bad around here, but nevertheless, there was a, a marked a marked difference. Um, you know, to the to the quality of the air and and the noise pollution, etc. Absolutely. I mean, it's obviously, you know, as, as it as it changes, it, there's more cars on the road again now than there were a few weeks ago. At the start, there was hardly any. Mm. Um, so, you know, there are one or two good things that have come out of COVID. Majority of stuff isn't been good, but, you know, there are one or two things and that's one of them. So what would encourage people to perhaps continue cycling? 
as you know, they might be scared to go on the big roads as more cars yeah. go back on. So what can we do? You know, would they like cycle lanes on? Do they want to share with, with pavements or do they want it totally separate? We're, 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 quite, we're kind of asking people really. And, and the main routes, I said, the, the big ones that have come out of the three into the town centre and into the main places where people work. But, you know, there may be others that we could do quite easily that would make a lot of difference to people. And, you know, we're just asking people's opinions really because, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a counsellor. We have planners and all this lot, but we're, the community that lives here are the yeah. people who, who need to support this, not just me, although exactly. I am a cyclist. And the cyclists who are actually doing it now, you know, what, what problems, yeah. that's, this is who we want, isn't it? The, the, the people who are actually doing it now, you're doing it every day. So what are the problems and, and have you got any ideas for how we might, uh, the council might address them? So Facebook page, Brilliant Barrow, uh, there's, there's uh, various um, uh, different um, ideas and stuff on there isn't there uh, so yeah there's a different well, survey well, monkeys look. for the different schemes so you know you just have a look and then it'll ask you you'll see the one about cycling feel free to do any of them uh, and the cycling one it'll ask you you know what would encourage you to do more cycling it asks you whether you've done more cycling and walking due to lockdown what would encourage you to carry on doing it but it's also what areas do you think we need to be connected in barrow you right. know they so say we we think we know the big ones but the public might have a different view that there might be something that we haven't thought of. That's the whole point. You know, it is a genuine ask in the community and we're collating all these, these responses. Um, there's people have been doing stuff as well, like BAE have been asking their employees every year. So we've got surveys of stuff. We've got stuff and it's like coming up with a long-term plan. So we're going to go for this big, some money now yeah. and then we'll, we'll carry on for more money afterwards and not, Brilliant. not just kick it into the side. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, right. Thank you very much for uh, coming on to Candy FM. You're welcome any time. And um, yeah, come on, everybody. Let's get that. Get those surveys. Get done. yourself on Thank a brilliant you. Barrow Facebook page. Get in yeah. there. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. Thank you.